Welcome back, Big Bass Lovers. It's DeMont coming back at you again. Uh, this is the August 6th Sense Box. I've had it for about a week now. I just hadn't had a chance really to do anything with it yet. And I was sitting here getting to spool up some topwater reels. And um, I thought, well, no better chance than going to get it done right now. So let's go ahead and hop into it. See what they sent me for August. I'm hoping he sent one of those new topwaters he came out with. I want to take a look at it. Let's take a peek in here. They sent a burgundy, burgundy slash pink bag. Or, I guess, um, maybe some people call it fuchsia? <laughs> Not sure. But all right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Uh -huh. We got a Swank 77X. Hmm. <laughs> yep, this is one of the new topwater baits that basically made this compete with the Strike King, the Hybrid Hunter. Um, but like I told you in my other video, um, Rapala has been doing this lip style with the shad wrap and stuff for a long time. And of course, it's not a, a fat wobbling bait like this right here. Um, really good sharp hooks. Really loud. Um, this color is called Bleeding Shad. Um, it says up here. Hmm. I'm used to it saying the weight and everything of it. Uh, oh, here it is right here. Three quarters of an ounce and 77 millimeter. This one's pretty heavy. I mean, it's basically a big hybrid hunter. I'm glad they started making a smaller version of the hybrid hunter. Um, but this is, um... This style of bait is really good. I've been using it for a while um, with the Rapalas. But now they came out with these fatter versions. It have a lot more action and a lot more drawing power. Um, I kind of like them a lot. Um, I can't get things closed back up again. But I think that would be really good if you're a big topwater fisherman like me. Okay, so we got the 77X. We got a 100 crush square bill. That color looks pretty good. It's like a really kind of ghosty, smoky shad. And what's it called? Um, it's called Shad Burst. Let's see if you can clear into that. Shad Burst. And those who don't know, the 100X, they are uh, 3 eighths of an ounce. They're a really good square bill. I like them a lot. I've got a bunch of them. <laughs> okay, then you have a Quake 70. This color is kind of interesting. It's kind of... I know it's like a sunfish pattern with the, the red and the orange and the blue. And it's called grass sunfish. There you go. And there you go. Get, zoom in, right? All right. Next hard bait. They gave us a finesse square bill. These are the, the little, uh, they're called just the plain curve. They're three eighths of an ounce. Uh, dives one at three feet. I like to use these in the river a lot. Uh, I'm living near the Cape Fear River, and most of the stuff we're fishing is super shallow. And um, that's a really good square bill for that area. It's also a really good square bill for like around Pittsburgh and the rivers there. They're almost always eating really small forage, and that's what catches them on. All right, now you got three packs of soft baits. And like usual, you have like the Divine Swim baits. This is the... This is, looks like the same color. Yep, same color you sent me last one. Gill dust. All right, then we have prongs. Uh, green pumpkin burst. I think it's supposed to be one there. Yeah, this is the same color you sent me last time as well. Not being very original, this box. But plum fleck. That's, that's actually pretty good there. That's a good color. Um, their plum fleck is about the same color what some people would call... Um, Uh, what is that Berkeley color? Uh, my mind's drawing a blank right now, but it looks just like this. It's, um, something blue. I can't remember the name of it now. Anyway, um, this is a really good summertime color. In the summertime, you want to be fishing, uh, especially if you're fishing deep, 
Uh, June bug is almost always a good color to use. Um, then your like plums, your um, red bugs, your uh, plum apple and stuff like that. Uh, going along in your kind of somewhat reddish purplish hues. They work really good in the summertime. Um, just spooled up some of my Lou's LFS Pro Series here, the uh, Tournament Pros. Uh, these are both my some of my top water. I put 17 pound test on this one. I put 12 pound test on this one. This one I use, I throw, um, usually on this reel here, I throw, um, most of the time I use braid on my walking baits. But I put 17 pound test on this, and a lot of times I throw square bills with it, but sometimes I'll throw walking baits with it. Not square bills, I'm sorry. I throw buzz baits with it. And sometimes I throw walking baits. This one I put 12 pound test on. This one's only for poppers. That's your pop R's, your mega basses, all those poppers. And even I've been using the prank a lot. Uh, that little bait is a very, <laughs> very interesting bait, and it works really good. It's called the Booyah Prank. It uh, has like a, it's a popper with a square bill on the bottom of it. Um, it only dies about a, maybe a foot if you really try to push it really hard. But it deflects off cover really good. So a lot of times uh, what I do with it is I pop it a couple times and then I burn the handle three times and make it dive. And it's like a fleeting reaction. A lot of times, especially if you're fishing it in your cover, the bass is going to come up and smack it. Um, anyway... I'm going to go ahead and get off the video here. If you like this video, go ahead and get the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have a question, ask it down below. I answer anybody's question. I try to take care of things. I've got some other stuff I need to be doing. Um, I'm sorry I haven't got the boat tour done yet. I've had some electrical issues. I had to get some stuff fixed on it. Um, what else? Um, I'm going to go out in the building. It's been so hot out there. Um that I haven't really done much out there. But I need to go out there and show you like a lot of my arsenal and stuff that I currently use. Um, I don't use straight one brand of rods. I mean, I have a lot of Dobbins. I have a lot of eye rods. I even have some um, Bass Pro, Daiwa. Um, I have some, um, what else? I have a bunch of stuff. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's great talking to you. Y'all stay safe. Tight lines. Until next time, this is DeMont signing out. Y'all have a great weekend.